Hi guys, it's Unders. Today we are going to have a look at unmasking two bits of audio in Logic using the Match EQ. If these sorts of videos are helpful for you, please pop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. It does help me out massively in creating more content for you guys. So essentially, I've chosen this mix and taken two plugins off from the stage I was at, which is two Neutron plugins we've got here on bass and here on the vocals bus. The reason is Neutron there is doing a little bit of the unmasking for me and I wanted it to be sort of as you guys would have heard it so we can have a look at undoing it using the Match EQ. Now what we're going to do is firstly load the Match EQ onto the channel that we want to remove some audio from which is going to be obviously downward EQ taking bits away so we can get something else to stand out a bit more and that's how unmasking two bits of audio works. Generally, we're not going to want to take away from a vocal. In this case, it's the bass and the vocal that are conflicting a little bit. So we're going to take away from the bass. What we'll do is open Match EQ. You can see I've got it right at the top here in my recents. You should have it under EQ and then Match EQ. As you can see, I've got mine set up with everything uh, sat in different parameters, but there should be EQ by default and then Match EQ. And this is the little guy here. Now, First thing we need to do is set up a side chain for the other audio profile we're going to capture. In this case, it's going to be the vocal bus. Now, for me, that's on bus six, which is here. So we're going to turn the analyzer on. When I press play, we're going to see the analyzer looking at the bass. Now it's on current, which is also going to be the, the channel that it's on, which is bass. And I'm going to click learn, and that's going to capture a profile of the bass sound. So we can watch that happen. I'd normally let that go for a little bit longer, but for demonstration per for demonstration purposes, we've got that. We know what's going on. We can then click on reference. Now reference is going to take the sidechain input. So that's bus six in this case, which is my vocal bus. So if we just solo that for a sec. Riding all night long with you by my side. No. Okay. Now if we click learn, we're going to be able to capture that profile as well. And that's enough there for this example. Cool. So we can now flip between the two and we can see the two different bits. And if we look around that 200 marker, that's more than likely where we're getting real conflicts going on here. Yeah, what we can do is go EQ curve and match. Now when we click match, it's gonna give us some ridiculous results. We're gonna to need to level it out a little bit. Perhaps if we reduce that down just a touch, you can see it's taking out loads and loads of sub and giving us loads and loads of top end. We can reverse that just a little bit and that should help us out a touch. I will generally probably flatten the sub back out. Now when we click on here, you can reduce your cue by holding shift and dragging that down. I think something like 1.10 should be enough. Yeah, not quite, but we could work on that and perhaps reduce it down a bit more. Do around one again, something like that. So now when we reduce, it's gonna bring it out a little bit. So if we listen to an A, B of this now. If we boost it, it starts to master the vocal again. But if we cut it out just by a few dB, it brings the, the clarity of the vocal out. So have a listen to that. Right 
So if we go too much, it's bringing too much of the bass out, but around there seems to be working. We'll just AB the plugin on and off. Cool, so that gives us an idea of what's going on. Now I would probably start putting the highs back in for my sub bass or I might even just use this as a reference to then EQ again and just take out the 200 marker, the sort of 480 around here, knowing that those are the key areas affecting uh, the masking of the two bits of audio. But this is just a really great and free way for you to get a reference of it if you haven't got something like a Pro-Q2 which allows you to do this or Neutron for example. This is built into Logic and you can still tackle the problem and get a good readout of exactly what's going on and fix it. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you did like it, please pop a like on it. It does help me out massively and I will see you on the next one.